What I'm offering you is my kind of creative, creative approach to thinking about marketing. What have I been marketing? Events that I used to organize. Because I had a serious car accident, and I, I was told that my pain was psychological and I had to do something else. So I got into psychology and I got so much out of it that I organized events. So, um, but I did thought, think that marketing has something to do with big data or creative marketing. But I also thought, if I think about numbers, which is my particular strength, what really matters are the financial numbers in business. Marketing tends to be about words. It's sort of customer data, especially today, but I thought I'd make the difference between potential customers and actual customers, because the actual ones who bring the money in. So in terms of visualization, which is sort of one of my pet subjects, um, we're looking at always at potential marketers when we start thinking about marketing. We then have a kind of a first-time exposure. I, somebody once said that everybody has to have been exposed to something three times before you actually put your money down and buy it. So there has to be a second-time exposure, which tends to be on a smaller number of people. And then comes the real thing. Sales. Yippee. Money in the bank or wherever. So in my view, the combination of financial numbers and marketing words needs to be combined when we analyze big data and unstructured terabytes of volumes of data. And I have a tool for it. Because the goal is that data becomes information, a bit more meaningful, not just numbers, words, images, video, audio, or God knows what else or a format of files. We want to have insights, the big insights as we've learned today. We want to turn understanding and into knowledge, into usable knowledge. And we want to develop business intelligence, not just marketing jargon or accountancy jargon, if you like. We want to make better informed decisions within the company. And I saw myself in this core uh, business of the orange um, presentation. I think it was the orange one. Because to me, the, uh, the enhancement of business intelligence is what my tool can offer, I think, at least. Or, let's say, uh, I'll keep reminding me, please, if I forget. <laughs> So what do I think is business intelligence about? <laughs> to kind of bring the two together, marketing costs and income from sales. We look at marketing strategies. We look at, or we could look, at the cost per strategy. Because we've learned today, we've, the world has moved from six to 60 channels as term for marketing strategies. So they're different costs, different costs per unit per channel. We can also then look at a cost per potential client. So these are metrics. I happen to call my company 3D metrics because I like to measure reality rather than fantasy and turn numbers into measures. So cost per potential client is one of the measures that's possible and the cost per actual clients is one of the possible measures and that's how we turn business intelligence into business metrics. And today, you've heard also the kind of search for measurement and metrics in more than one way. So these are, if you like, just buzzwords to kind of get you to think about this and above all to make the connection between, well, income and expenditure because otherwise the marketeers are being held responsible for not getting enough money in. But the truth is, the money people have to tell the marketing people what's coming in, and the marketing, and, uh, the marketing people have to tell the money people how much everything costs. So the two together is, to me, the level of integration that's necessary. And how can I do it? By seeing more, showing more, making more visible, 
and a new kind of level of depth. My software prototype is called visual data intelligence. So it's not just data intelligence, it's visual data intelligence. It may not be kind of intense enough, but there are about 10 layers of data here. I started out with just simple mathematical sign data, but of course this can be sophisticated big data of any shape, kind, or form. So I have um, more excitement about an analytics and analysis than maybe some marketers. And I would never suffer from analysis paralysis and definitely not by using my software. So here's another example, how more can be seen. What Excel does, my software can do better. Um, it may not be particularly visible, but it's quite interesting how the black background is absolutely essential. Um, and so to see it on screen, is to, on one's own screen, really makes a difference. But we, we experimented with other ways. But the key is that you get a new visual 3D axis along which you can compare men, more than one, two, three, four dimensions. This is a sample of climate data where there are 109 company, uh, countries that are, whose data is, is being used which could be then sorted and could be really analyzed, if you like, sex, in a sexy way with sexy GUIs and, and, and uh, new parameters particularly also. And in terms of business intelligence, business data, my um, proprietary forecasting mechanism can take any data, any time series, any application. So again, whether it's cli climate change or business data can be short term, medium term, long term. So there is a new tool available, a new style of visualization, which should make analytics easy, simple, sort of pretty quick, pretty quick. You grasp things because you see things immediately. You don't have to go into, um, well, complicated algorithms for sure, for sure not, but you have to know what you want to know. So I've come up just with a, this idea of metrics in the business and marketing environment. And you may or may not find it interesting, but the, uh, an overall system that I'd like to see built is a new kind of an expert system. Because the smartness of the software does not need to be repeated by the user, but the user has to put in their experience. They need to know ahead of time what they want to know. This is, was mentioned in a number of ways today. You want to kind of know which data you pick so that you get an answer to which question. So this is the kind of three-tier way in which I see it. You put together those people who know about the business, so you know the marketing people, the business, the finance people, and you just kind of play a bit of Lego with my tools um, that analyze the data and visualize it in a new way. So the whole proposal is, that I'm trying to make is to integrate um, expertise, but also the smartness of the software, so human expertise. So the integration between, if you like, different departments of companies, as well as the software, and this is just a bit of food for philosophical thought. Today is the day of inauguration, and I've been incredibly proud and pleased and grateful to have been here. Thank you. <laughs>